Hi, John Carfield. Hey, I wanted to chat with you this morning about uh, kind of a dream I had, uh, not last night, but the night before, and I've been meditating on it since then. And uh, so I want to talk to you about goals through the eyes of a seer, using your seer gift um, with your goals. So I'm an engineer, and I have uh, I use a mind map for my goals. There's a blog that goes with this video um, that, that shows you the details of that but most of us have dreams or some ambition or desire that we want to see happen and the drill is how do we you know cooperate with God to see um, his purpose unfold in our lives in a way that really happens <laughs> so I have some friends that uh, are talking about a tenfold increase in their business and in one way I, th I think that's great you know Jacob had a hundredfold increase and uh, the question is, how do we make those things happen, you know, in real lives, in real time, with real money? <laughs> so I want to suggest, I want to start with two things not to do. One is, uh, when I say not to do, do it with uh, wisdom. One is faith. Just asking God to miraculously give us money, make our investments multiply, make customers come to us. Um, there's a place for uh, a miraculous ingredient. God really does want to help us. He sends aid, angels. He does do miraculous stuff. But the, one of the drawbacks is that uh, when we have an expectation that God's going to do everything, it leaves us in sort of a passive uh, mentality. And in fact, uh, when you go too far down that road, um, you know, this faith idea can be sort of a spiritual witchcraft that manipulates other people to fulfill our expectations. And uh, there's something better than that. <laughs> and the second one is, uh, you know, just working harder uh, on the principles. So we can, you know, take another class, read another book, find another guru, you know, make a list, do all that kind of stuff. We've all done that before. <laughs> and it didn't really get us there. So the, the, the way to competence or you know, um, what we're really trying to do <clears throat> when we think in a business sense or a personal sense of growth is we want to increase the value that we give to other people. So, for example, Jacob's hundredfold increase that he was famous for hearing from God, famous for, uh, you know, digging wells. And when you put two and two together during a time of drought, the Lord told him where to go, and I believe the Lord told him what to do. And I think that what to do was as practical as irrigation. That, uh, you know, the Lord wants to speak to us in terms of how do I increase value in practical ways. So, uh, here's a secret sauce. Your purpose and dreams and, and goals, you know, take on a different dimension when you realize that uh, the fathers engaged with you in doing them. So the dream I had was this. I saw this mind map, um, which has all my goals on it. I saw it as a mural in a semicircle, and I was I was with the Lord, and the mural was like ten feet high, and all these you know dozen different goals were looked like you know something like TV monitors or or murals or pictures, framed pictures. But the characters inside those pictures were alive and moving. <laughs> and as I stared at each one of my goals or my dreams, <clears throat> I saw, um, you know, that thing coming true. I saw the, the future expression of that in like a movie setting. And what I want to suggest to you is that, uh, and th there was another dimension to this too. I had seen that someplace before and as I thought about it, I had binge-watched Harry Potter last winter, <clears throat> and there's a sing scene in, uh, you know, the university that Harry goes to, there's a scene called Hogwarts, by the way, is there's a scene where they're going up and down stairs inside the, um, the building, and the pictures on the wall are alive. I mean, there are people in the pictures, sometimes the people in the pictures even talk to them. So I'm not advocating, um, you know, Harry Potter or witchcraft or anything like that, although I enjoyed that series. <laughs> what I'm suggesting is that when you see um, the fact that God himself is engaged in your purpose, 
that he wants to uh, help you make your dream come true when you start to write down goals don't write them out of your own um, sort of imagination or your own uh, intellect or your own drive write them out of um, the thing that God wants to do through you and see them with your seer gift <clears throat> then they come alive so the, Jesus was the word made flesh he's the living word and I want to suggest that your purpose is alive and active and you know quicker than any two-edged sword um, that uh, he wants to work through you and with you he wants to release angels over you your life and your business <clears throat> and the value that you bring to other people and when we think of it that the father we're co-laboring with the father we're doing a purpose that not it doesn't just exist in my heart it exists in his heart and we can see it uh, when we look at it that that picture is alive so I just want to give you that simple uh, suggestion that I'm not talking about new age visualization I'm not talking about adding imagination uh, to to a, a lifeless list of goals <laughs> I'm talking about seeing how your father wants to engage with you to make it happen that there's a prophetic dimension that when we look at a picture you know we look at we, it reminds us of a memory and, and it engages our hearts to think of scenes from the past well that story that we're reminded of is part of our story part of our purpose and it carries not just in the past but that theme carries through into the future and the most alive part of your future is uh, your your purpose of co-laboring with the father and you can see that with your seer gift so don't allow your goals to be dry and lifeless uh, use your seer gift to see them and uh, see what the what the future looks like so when I think of you know all the turmoil uh, in the United States when I think about you know what dreams do I have left uh, ahead of me uh, I'm imagining them with my seer gift uh, what they look like in the future so I don't see the United States as broken and divided and in turmoil I see a glorious nation uh, on a path uh, ordained by God to bless other nations and I see fruit I see the national debt being paid off I see prosperity uh, I see our cup overflowing to bless other nations that's what I see in, in the spirit for the United States I see leaders with clarity I'm thanking God for President Trump and and I believe he's sparking a different style of leadership um, a, a style that uh, knows how to get things done doesn't just talk about them there's been sort of a preaching style that never did what they um, promised but he's different and, and there's a new generation of leaders that are going to make a difference and get things done and see things accomplished as big as paying off 26 trillion in the national debt <laughs> that's my belief so father I'm, I just ask you for every person that hears these words or reads the the blog that father you would release the dream that's in their heart that father they would see it in the spirit and that father I'm, I'm releasing a seer gifting on sons of God to uh, engage in uh, father what you're doing from heaven that father we would be seated in heavenly places see what you're doing and bring the manifestation of that to earth father in in our personal lives in our businesses and in our nations so in the name of Jesus I'm releasing father tens of thousands of sons that will engage with you to receive what you have uh, for them father I'm releasing the purpose the dream the desire of their hearts that father you share and father I'm releasing the authority of it that father the thing that you wrote in our hearts is also in your heart and that father we can see it in the spirit and we can engage with it and we can prophesy it and we can call it forth uh, father as sons to manifest on earth as it is in heaven that's the commission that you've given us so, father I'm just releasing that anointing to um, father make a difference on earth that father you would release angels over sons 
and that, Father, you yourself would collaborate and co-labor with us to see your kingdom uh, on earth established. So, Father, we release the glory of it, the glory of sons, the glory of nations uh, where your kingdom is established uh, on this earth. And, Father, we just thank you in advance for the great things you're going to do in our lives and in the lives of our nation and our businesses. Father, I'm releasing prosperity. I'm releasing new value. I'm releasing uh, your spirit in your sons in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. More on the blog. Take a look at it. God bless. Have a great week.